Hello, 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 hello. Today, um, this is actually going to probably be a little bit of a different video, but I am building a bioactive vivarium terrarium uh, for eventually for an orchid mantis right now. And I wanted to show you all the process of me going through that just because I think terrarium builds are fun and I think they're really relaxing. They're, it's my, my favorite genre of YouTube video, one of them. <laughs> okay, I'll show you what I've got. So right here I have the tank. I believe this is, it's like 10 by 10 by 18 or 12. Uh, it's pretty sizable. It's larger than the recommended size or like the minimum recommended size for mantises, but I'm always, I say go bigger on the enclosures than just, you know, bare minimum. And then here are some of my supplies. This is horticultural charcoal uh, for the base layer. This is there. Um, I bought almost everything from US Mantis and this is their soil mix. It's kind of like the Atlanta Botanical Gardens mix, but a little bit different. It's made for tropical, semi-tropical uh, terrariums and environments. And it was on sale, so I bought two packages of it, especially since I am going to be having plants in here. And then here is some live sheet moss. And then underneath here, I have a lot of pork that I'm going to put into the back plate um, with some silicone. And as well as underneath here, I have some leaf litter. And then most importantly, right over here, I have a tub of springtails and a tub of uh, dwarf isopods right over here that will act as my cleanup crew. And then I do have some Lika clay pearls that are soaking in water right now. So this is the setup currently. And here is the tank lying down. I um, silicone. This is cork bark. And I silicone some pieces of this to the back. This tank came with a background, uh, but it was just made out of uh, styrofoam. So well, I would rather use something actual like cork bark, even though I had to use silicone to stick it up. But that should be the only like synthetic material that's used in here.
close-up shots of the terrarium. I'm not too sure how well the begonia is taken to the soil, but the alocasia seems to be totally fine as well as the jewel orchid. I might replace the begonia if it continues to kind of not take to the soil. I might have to replace it with a different plant. But we shall see. I might do like a rattlesnake calathea if, you know, maybe we'll see. And I'm hoping that in a couple of weeks the moss will also take more hold. Here's just some nice inside shots. beginner setup because it is. This is my first like terrarium type build I've tried to do before. Um, so 